Hey y'all, it's Robin. I'm back. I've got some more crap. I'll start off with the comics. How's that? I, I don't want to go into them. I'll just show you the covers I got, okay? First up, TMNT vs. Power Rangers! I got, uh, I got the number four. I guess this was the, the main variant. I got this one because, of course, it has everybody on it. It has Shredder with, with his kick-ass <coughs> Green Ranger shit going on. Tommy's friend in New York starts to go after him, and then Tommy says, No, motherfucker, I'm gonna get you out of here, and we're gonna be friends again. <laughs> You're not going to do this to me! And do they get the Zord in this one? Yes, they do! They get the Megazord. And I'm waiting on number five to get here, so... Next up, Go Go Power Rangers! The rest of the series. Got number 30. You got the Omega Rangers down there. Oh, shit! 31. You got Jason, Trini, and Zack here. I got number 32. I got the Omega Ranger cover with... The blue sentry, or the blue <laughs> emissary, that's what he's called. God! I got the foil cover with the Omegas on this part, and then Jason, Zach, and Trini on the back part of it. So this was number 31 and 32 combined. And then I got two other covers for 32. I got the... Um, the group picture. What were those called in high school? <laughs> Everybody looks awesome. <laughs> There's Go Go. Now for Mighty Morphin. I went and got some covers from some past issues that I wanted to get but I wasn't really interested in at the time. <laughs> but now I like collecting the variants also so I got me some. Number 27. I got the one with the um, the season three, the one with the kids. Oh, they were in season two also. But I got the one with the kids on it. And the kids have their their ranger spirit. But yeah, I like this one. I always like this one. And I finally got it. <laughs> I got two for number 49. I got the Dan Mora story variant. I got the blue Omega Ranger trading card variant. Hell yeah. And I got, um, uh, is it is it just 50? It, it's so beautiful. Oh, the Omega Rangers and the Mighty Morphin Rangers have a showdown with Kaya or Kia. And they even make a joke about that in the issue. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I mean, it's like they heard my thoughts and they said, you know what? We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna address this. <laughs> Garrison calls Tommy Ponytail, <laughs> which, which reminds me of an episode of Bob's Burgers about Capoeira. Sexy dance fighting is what the episode's called. Ponytail! <laughs> and ooh, who shows up? I'm not gonna spoil it, because I had that spoiled for me, so... I wish I could remember what people called these. The multiple bad guys that showed up. There was Space Karen and... <laughs> oh, Space Karen is the one I remember. And then ooh, Trini and... Kaya, Kia, they have a showdown. <clears throat> Here's where she makes a joke about. Okay, Trini goes, Kia! And then, Ka I'll just call her Kay. She goes, You know, you really shouldn't yell my name when we fight. It's very distracting. Here, let me show you. Trini! <laughs> I was really amused by this. Trini! <laughs> anyway, that noisy ass car. Okay, and here's the special one. I can't remember what number this is from MMPR, but I want I always wanted this but I always wanted this cover because it was to me it was really special. Number whatever this is. I got the orange beast morphers ranger, Mr. Tyler Rinker. May he rest in peace. Yeah, I always I always loved this design. I got this on eBay, and you know, sometimes when you go on eBay, you can choose to donate to, you know, a certain cause, and I thought you could choose what cause you would want to donate to, but apparently you can't, or if you can, I didn't see how to do it. 
I wanted to donate something to a cause kind of in memory of him because he was he was a make-a-wish kid you know and I, I really wanted to donate money to make a wish but I couldn't so I donated you know just a, a little bit to NAACP it was like a legal defense fund it was it was relevant to now so I did that for Tyler because since he's now a ranger he would want to do the right thing and make a positive change in the world so that's why I did it next up toys First up, I got Robo Blaze. Hell yeah! And whoa. Okay, you know what? Just come on. Ah. Oh. 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 What? The okay, we have the again recolored Beast X blaster or whatever the fuck ah. it's called. I can't remember. And then we got. Robo Blaze's sword, which is kick ass. And then we have Robo Blaze's Morphex key. Ooh, he's got a. Okay. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, here's Blaze. I like his little goggles. Kind of. That kind of reminds me of uh, Kira My Silver. His little scarf thing. It's not colored like it is in the show, which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, it's not that big a deal. And here's the back of it, which usually kind of, it kind of drapes around his arm, which I love that. I love it. I love that armor. That gold and silver armor. That's beautiful. What's happening here? S mm. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> so, okay, over here you got this line that's intact but over here it's kind of weird <laughs> and you can't you can't straighten it out so you got to be happy with it like that <laughs> and then he has these uh kind of it reminds me of like riding boots <laughs> but with some knee guards on it <laughs> these boots look at these boots these are kick ass <laughs> that that bend <gasps> It in the in the freaking package god damn it god damn it. what the hell okay the joint looked weird in the package which i had forgotten about until just now <laughs> is it supposed to be open like that i don't know ah! please ah. <laughs> okay Anyway, I guess I'll return it. I don't know. This is some bullshit. Or I'll wait. I might wait until... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well, God damn it. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> That's some bullshit. I st yeah, I started to go get some batteries and then it went... Okay. A special character that I have fallen in love with from the second half of Beast Morphers. What was his name? <laughs> Captain Chaku, aka Space Sheriff Gavin. I fucking love Chaku so much. I adore him. I won't talk about him because spoilers. I he made me cry. Anyway, so I found this little figure on the eBay and I didn't realize that he was going to be this small. I didn't realize the figure would be this small. I liked the accessories he came with so I got this one. It was the cheapest one I could find. So let's see. There's 
Captain Chaku right there. And let's see, he's got some different hands here. And then he's got two more hands and then he's got an extra helmet. Oh, yeah, his eyes are lit up. I hadn't even looked that closely at this. And I've had it for like a week. So. And then he's got three different swords. There's, you know, just the regular sword, the glowy sword, translucent sword, and wait, <laughs> powering up sword, because the thing is different, and then the powered up sword. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh, he's so adorable. There's Captain Chaku. I love all the little colors on him. If it would focus a little bit. See all the colors? And ah, oh, he's got a judo chop hand. <laughs> I'm going to call this his saluting fingers. <laughs> you know, some sword holding fists. And, ooh, what is that one for? Oh, when he powers up a sword and he goes, Whoosh. yeah, he's got some, some hands. That's what I'm going to call him. There's a, ooh, <laughs> there's a translucent blue powering up sword. So yeah, there's some toys. I did get two other special things. I got two helmets. If you don't follow me on you know, Instagram or Twitter. You probably didn't see these. I got these from... I don't know. I'll put it down here. I got Hyperforce Black. I got Vesper's Helmet, y'all. These are 3D printed kits. So they come, you know, unfinished, unsanded, unpainted, and everything. So this is what you get when you just print out a file, glue it together, and boom, there you have it. You know, you've got glue here, it's sticky. You know, it's got some, I, it's got the 3D printer lines, and it's got some little stray bits and pieces. I've never had anything 3D printed before like this, and I really, I really want me a 3D printer now. After all, the bitching I do about, you know, little things with the lightning collection, you know. I really want a 3D printer now. <sighs> okay, and the second helmet. Hyperforce Pink. Look at that. It's, oh, same thing, same thing with this. It's unpainted and sanded and varnished or what, you know, whatever. I need to find out the steps of making a good helmet because I want to do it right. I want to make it good because I have this perfection problem when it comes to like painting and doing things like that. It has to be perfect enough for me to accept it. <laughs> I have to be okay with it. So I'm gonna have to do some research. And again, I need me a 3D printer, y'all. I want all the helmets. Okay, with the Hyperforce helmets, I've been inspired to do a dramatic reading from Time Burrito. Peter and Unk stood there too. <coughs> Damn right they did. That Unk. And here in about maybe two weeks, I can't remember the exact date, season three of Relic Hunters is going to be starting. I feel like I'm going to have so much fun this season because I, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll put a clip from our prelude from our season finale here and show you how much fun I had just in this hour that we did this. And I'm going to hold my arm out like a, like a old timey gentleman. I'm married. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't grab my hand, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I will stay near you. You've never been here, it seems like. You don't know where you are. Either you hold my arm or I put you on my back. 
<laughs> <They're> married. <laughs> so I'm excited about this season. So come and join us. Give Chief Ducky on Twitch a follow. Come watch us. And till next time. Peace out, bitches. Stay safe, bitches. Wear a mask, bitch. <laughs>